What the hell, Chelsea? Henry demanded. Apologize immediately. Not a chance, she said, flipping me off with shiny, robin egg blue fingernails, waving so close to my face I could lick them if I wanted to. I said nothing back. Mostly because I really couldn't think of a good comeback or find some crack in Chelsea's cast iron statements that I could break apart. The air in my lungs felt heavy, stale, and as I exhaled, everything suddenly smelled like a scorched flower petal. She huffed and walked off, making her way back down the steps. The charred smell, the anger, everything was suddenly gone, carried along with her. I'm gonna get her, Henry said, giving her the stink eye and shaking his head. That, oh boy, he said, gritting his teeth. I don't know what the hell's going on, but oh, oh, that was uncalled for. Chelsea, mad as hell and about to gouge out Nathan's eyeballs if he didn't tell her exactly what she wanted to know, suddenly lurched forward with about six steps left in the staircase. She screamed, arms flying out sideways and trying to grab onto something as she lost her balance. The iron handrail was just too far away, and she wasn't able to reach it with those short arms of hers. She went down hard, face first, onto the white cement nose of that last step just before ground level. In some ambivalent, detached way, my first impulsive thought was wondering why she didn't bring her arm forward to catch herself or protect her pretty little face. That Night in the Park by Joseph McAvoy Available for purchase on Kindle and Amazon Direct